What's up, YouTube? This is the kid, DC Wrestling, back once again with another one like always. So, final episode of Monday Night Raw before the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And, um, yeah, this was another really good one, you know. I want to first go ahead and kind of discuss the main event, as you see in the picture here. And you can already tell this main event was going to be good. And, man, was it a good one for sure, for sure. I mean, hard-hitting, physical, just three guys going at it. But in the end, only one man emerged with the final spot in the men's money in the bank, that being Drew McIntyre. So Drew McIntyre uh, fills up the spot, and now the men's money in the bank is officially full. Um, same thing with the women. You know, Zoe Stark won her match early on uh, with Dakota Kai and company in what was a solid match. Now, Dakota Kai was about to get the win, but, um, you know, we kind of all saw what happened there, um, you know, with tag team champions coming out and then damage control feeding with them and company you know dakota kai wasn't going to win so zoe stark won and now her and drew have qualified for their respective men and women money in the bank matches you know um we saw the continuation tonight with the white six you know i know jay uso had cut a promo early on in the night and then chad gable hit came out and then that's when the shenanigans started, right? And we got another tape um, with, you know, Bo Dallas and uh, Uncle Howdy. And, um, yeah, just like last week, you know, it was a really good one. I can't really complain about it. Um, you know, I, I like this, you know. Me personally, what I would personally do, and this is just me, I think we definitely need to do, like, a tape for all the other members, you know, because Bo Dallas, you know, he's explaining, you know, his reasoning, his purpose, the group purposes, obviously, but it would be nice if they eventually do one on, you know, um, Dexter Loomis and Joey Gacy and, um, you know, and the rest of the Wyatt Six. I just think, you know, that would be really, really cool so that each and every single character of that stable can get their own sort of character development. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks, you know. Now, Dominic took on Rey Mysterio tonight. And what was a pretty solid, actually, no, it was a pretty good one. And <laughs> Ray beat Dominic because Liv got involved. Um, she was really the reason why Dom lost this match. Yet yeah, they, they pushed Dominic into Liv. And kind of like last week, Dominic was on top of Liv, which was, as our truth would say, I don't even know if that was PG. And, you know, early on in the night, Liv Morgan defended her championship against Zelina Vega. And this was actually a really good one. Like, I ain't going to hold you. This was a really, really good match. And there was that moment in the match where it was like, holy crap, you know, Zelina might actually win this one. But she didn't. Um, Dom gave, tried to give her a chair, but Zelina was just like, no. And uh, Liv took advantage. So Liv was able to retain her championship. And, uh, you know, we're still getting this stuff with Damian Priest and Seth Rollins, which they had a segment tonight, but the big issue at hand was Finn Balor. You know, there's really starting to be some tension in Judgment Day because Finn Balor, he was like, well, first off, Damian Priest early in the night was like, yo, Dom, you know, I talked to Rhea, by the way, and she ain't happy. So you've been lying to me this whole time telling me that you've been talking to Rhea, even though you haven't. Um, and, you know, Dom was like, yo, man, like, you know, I'll handle this whole Liv situation. And then Liv is literally in their locker room with the rest of the boys. And then, you know, Finn is talking with Priest. And, you know, Finn's like, hey, man, you know, like, she helped us out. Like, cut her some slack. And Damien's like, bro, like, we got we to gotta, we gotta cut her, her loose. And, and, and then Finn was pissed at Damien for the comments he made last week and putting his spot in jeopardy. And Priest is like, dude, like, I'm the world champion. You know, I'm the champion. I can handle it. And then Finn Balor came out to interrupt Seth. And Priest was just like, dude, like, respectfully, Finn, you're my dog and all. But this is between me and Seth. This ain't between you and Seth. Y'all had y'all history, like, last year or whatever. Like, this is our history now. And uh, I'm telling you, that look Finn gave him, man. You know, I guess Finn might. Cost Damian Priest the title at Money in the Bank, but, you know, we'll see what happens on Saturday. Um, and then Sammy and Braun had a confrontation. They had a face-off, and Braun speared Sammy not once but twice. 
seemed like Sammy was getting a little offense in, but Braun was able to take advantage. But Aish enjoyed their face off there, and I think both men were able to get their equal amount of momentum heading into the show. So, yeah, that was Raw tonight, man. Really good go home show, man. And, um, you know, Money in the Bank should be a really good show. And I think SmackDown will be a really good show as well. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens.